get it right As you can probably tell or hear, it's our first dual vlog in a while. I know, yeah. And it's not the vlog we probably intended because I've had to come home on this. The new R12 90. Weird, but it's like basically, you know I had the old Urban GS, which I loved. This is the sort of new, new version of it. The new version of the new R90. Uh, the engine feels a lot more porky in this, a lot more porky, the suspension's way improved as you know with the old R9s, that was its Achilles ear really, uh, was the suspension, it was very harsh, it's very plush on this, we've got cruise control, got rider modes, got your SOS button, little digital dash, can't find a fuel gauge on it, but it's got heated, uh, heated grips, uh, yeah, it's got a quick shifter. First to second's really clunky, but after that, smooth as silk. I would have shown you if this car had been gone, but we will we will tap into that. But phase behind us on the uh, Risky Rebel. Talking about the fuel gauge, we've just put a, few, a little bit more petrol in my tank, and it was I thought it would just had one bar, so um, Sean filled it up while I went in. Um, but apparently it had a little bit more fuel in it than what I thought it did so it might have a bit of a dodgy fuel gauge but we'll yeah. wait and see yeah folks once you have the fuel senders a bit uh, I'm not saying dodgy but just uh, as you know some fuel gauges on bikes are very very unreliable at, at best uh, but she said uh, on the intercom she said oh, I'm down to one bar could do putting some fuel in and I was thinking there was like there was a fair bit in that when we set off so I thought, come on, I said, we'll fill it up anyway, put some uh, some of finest in it. So she shot him, she had the card on her, as always. She she takes care <laughs> of the she takes care Finances. of the old you know the old purse strings. So she went in with a card uh, and I was filling it up expecting put, I don't know, 20 quid in. And it got nine quid in it, and that was to the brim. Although it was on its side stand, so I'm not sure it being sat up right. If I had a sat on it and I filled it up, it'd have made much difference. But there was clearly still half a tank in it, just by how much I put in it. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, guys, want to talk about the summer tour. Yay! Oh. We're not really booked much, but what we do know is we'll be in the Moto in France on the 11th, is it, babe, of August? Uh, not a clue. I'll put a picture up in a second of the planning. It will be about that anyway, yeah. It will be about that. It'd be great meet up with some people this time on tour. Obviously, yeah. as you know, on the last tour, Monty died three days into the tour, or we had to have him put to sleep. And it, as you know, when a family pet dies, it absolutely destroyed us. Uh, and the tour was, a, a, for want of a better expression, a waste of money. Yeah. Yeah. Really and I'll sad. Be on, yeah, and I'll be honest, I come back from the not even interested in bikes anymore it, it really it really put a damper on it 
and it took a while I would say get over it because you're not going to get over your, your dog going but get over the uh, the feeling of not, not being interested in doing bike tours and that yeah so the quick shifter on this folks we're in second third that should be accelerating there we are fourth fifth smooth as silk and not downshift there's a cracky shifter and blipper don't know why they've not put a fuel gauge on it I think they they're determined not to put a fuel gauge on the R9 are they? it's got everything else on this bar, bar a fuel gauge so we are thinking of cutting the tour short a little bit after speaking to Richard at BMW because we've been invited to an event in Blackpool do you want to talk about it babe? not that we know much about it but yeah uh, when we say invited we meant we're just making numbers up really it's a new show although the, it, it sort of tagged on to a very popular show like I said we'll put the picture up uh, but basically they've got some classic bars classic bikes and they're also getting a proper bikes proper car they're making it a dual thing and hopefully they're trying to get to the point where it's a proper bike show in the north uh, it's all going to be indoors at the Norbert Castle in Blackpool like I said I can't remember the dates off the top of my head but they will be on screen now uh, BMW is going to be the B R BBG Customs will be the uh, Biking Down is going to be the there's some there's a lot of people going to be there it's going to be the biggest one they've done uh, if you stop over in Blackpool, there's going to be bands on at night, so it's going to be a, a good uh, skipper duper time. So me fair's going to be there for the full weekend. Uh, she'll have all her artwork there. We'll have stickers there. We'll have t-shirts there, and I'll be there just for a giggle and a drink, and hopefully raise some money uh, for a children's hospice that it's in aid of. Now that's that can't be a bad thing, can it? Yeah, yeah. I mean that's the main point is um, raising money for children in need in the hospice in Blackpool um, and that's one of the main reasons we're going there obviously we would like to meet up with guys but it's tattoos bikes um, cars it, you know the lot it just sounds like an amazing event which we're, we're honored to be able to go we will be cutting the tour short a little bit in order to get there um, but yeah no need don't know worries about that when she says cut it short it means by day <laughs> We was going to come back on the Friday night, we're going to come back on the Thursday night now uh, and then we're going to be stopping all weekend in Blackpool, living the dream <laughs> Yeah, living the dream of Blackpool, yeah. not one of my favourite places but yeah. nevertheless Blackpool Vegas uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah so, As they say, it's like Benidorm without the sun Where Benidorm is Blackpool with the sun, this is uh, Benidorm without the sun But over that time of year, it could be roasting, it could be cracking flags so, yeah, yeah. so it'd be great to come along have a few scoops and that like it says no pressure we're not trying to sell anything well we are like but we're not that kind of way we're not making any money like you know what i mean it's just there uh, for a uh, just for a giggle get for meat have a good laugh it's nice to have a good biker event especially local you know what i mean so well, we could have actually gone home every night but we said oh just stop over and oh god no yeah i can't like i said we'll just come off a tour so the last thing i want to do is like finish the go back home come back next day go back home come back that's the last thing I want to do. All we want to do. So we're behind a mountain bike here doing top speed down there. It is a bit of a dodgy corner at the top of here anyway. Yeah, yeah, you get to the top of here and you really can't see if it's clear and so you're right on the edge. But as for this new bike, I love it. I love it. This is what the original R9 should have been. Still needs a fuel gauge. There could actually be one on there and I've just not found it, but I don't think there is. Even if it was arranged to empty, because it's got miles per gallon on there and everything, so unless I've just missed it, there might be a range to empty. I don't know. Uh, like I said, it would, this wasn't meant to be the vlog today. Just that the, the big GS has been kept in. It's been kept in for surgery. Uh, basically, what it is, it took it in for a service today. If you're already up there, you'll be all right. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. revving. Revving their balls off it. Oh, it's a girl. Maybe it's a girl bike. Maybe they're revving the boobs off it. I don't know. Who knows? But yeah, so the, the big GS went in for its service today. Uh, it was getting, as you noticed, the rear brake pipe 
replaced it didn't need it it was just cosmetic but it was getting replaced anyway and, they, and because the service is only open until dinner time on a Saturday they didn't quite have time to do it so they said can we just keep hold of it I said yeah so as long as I've got something at home on uh, so this this bike that was meant to use for an hour we've actually got for a week now because I can't get back there until next Saturday and we both work full time phase back in as normal next week oh I can't believe it I really don't want to go back to work I've loved being off but one of the main reasons as well of getting that um, the big big boy in for services we need to make sure that it's mint for our tour and we have done a few things or show us done a few things in the planning for the tour which we will do a separate video for that yeah basically i was going to do a video on this stuff we've done in uh, a new add-on to it that's getting fitted tomorrow which is now not getting fitted tomorrow it'll have to get fitted next week obviously i weren't expecting the bike to stop in so it's i wouldn't say it's for a spanner it works but you know what i mean it uh, wasn't what i was expecting so a bit lost for this well we've got it yeah so this video now really is more of a test to make sure everything's working all right because uh, We've got another dual vlog in what feels like forever. What's this Ben Lovitz dead tight? Woo! We and you didn't run wide. Anyway folks, we're gonna switch it off now. So we get to this roundabout, it's gonna put on a fast road then, so we'll get to the end of here. Uh, switch it off and we're gonna get home. And even though we're on a keto diet, we have decided from this second week we're gonna have Saturdays off. Uh, just because life's too short, honestly. Life's too bloody short. So we're going to battle it during the week uh, and have Saturdays off. Saturday off meaning we're going for it. <laughs> so anyways, the trap's up there. Hopefully Faye can get it side of it. We'll be able to switch cameras off and we'll say goodbye and good riddance. Faye might say goodbye. I don't know whether she will or not. Yeah, I'm going to say goodbye, but I wanted to say goodbye looking at you. <laughs> yeah, goodbye All right, from this guys. Ball. So uh, we'll catch you in the next one. See you in a bit. Bye.